Welcome back to Great Day. The Cushada Powwow dancers will be featured this weekend at the largest Native American powwow in the country. Joining us with the event celebrating their Native American heritage and the true meaning of a powwow is Cushada Tribe Chairman Jonathan Serenet. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Jonathan, you know, I think a lot of people are surprised to, to hear that uh, there are real Native American reservations still in play in this country. Explain to us uh, the Cushada Tribe. Well, the Cushada tribe is a um, tribe in Southwest Louisiana that not many people I feel like know about. I feel like people know about our business, uh, the casino up the road, but the beginnings of the casino happened because of the Cushada tribe that's been here for many, many years. And this is an event where we're able to host a powwow that calls and brings in natives from all over the country. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, some as far as Canada are coming in for this. It's a really a chance to experience the culture at its finest. You get to see the dancing, the drumming. Um, my personal favorite is the authentic Native American food, particularly the fry bread that is made. And, and it's a chance to um, take home a piece of the Cushada culture by the, the Native beadwork, yeah. handiwork. And, and you it's get to beautiful. See this from the, all parts of the country. The work is so beautiful, done by hand. Something that we've gotten further, further and away from, uh, you know, in society today. But uh, by the way, you're joining us from Kinder, Louisiana, which is just a few hour drive from Houston, so it makes for a nice little road trip. But you also want people to just get a, a better sense of who the Cushada are. Uh, perseverance is, is part of your your culture. Also, Native American principles. Share some of those principles with us. I like to say Native Americans are not much different than everyone else in that we love our country. We love the people here. We're good neighbors. We support our friends and our family and we fellowship together. And I, I say it like this, um, Louisiana is known for their food, of course, all this Cajun food around us. The Cushadas are no different. We celebrate together. We come to, it's like a big Thanksgiving all year round. Yeah. Um, and so we center our powwow around all these principles and Native Americans, they come from all over the country. And it really is like a big family reunion, a big gathering where we can celebrate the culture, where we can invite other cultures to join us. And it really is just a wonderful celebration of culture, heritage, Thanksgiving. And it's kind of the pathway that our elders left for us to leave things better than you found them and to treat others with respect. Yeah, for so many people, their whole idea of Native American, first of all, they call it Indian, right? Which we know historically was, was wrong, but their whole idea of Native American <laughs> comes from Hollywood movies. Why is it so important for you? And what do you hope people leave with? Especially, I think this is a great history lesson for so many of us and, and for kids in particular, you know, they're, they're learning about it through history books in a different way. But when those pages can come to life with, as you say, the, the I don't want to call it costumes because these are authentic uh, clothing that, that they are wearing. Um, right. you know, how important is it for you to expose your, your culture to people firsthand? And what do you want them to leave with? Well, we'll get the clothing right first. It's called <laughs> regalia, which is, uh, if you haven't seen it, every piece is handmade. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a competition where the dancers perform and um, you really do feel like you're in a Hollywood movie during this time. Um, now, every tribe is different. Every part of the country is different in their own special, unique ways. Um, the first aspect is I'm thankful that we get an opportunity just to showcase who we are and that there are Native Americans here. Our United States population is less than 2%. Mm -hmm. So for everybody to understand that and to know that there are Native Americans just down the road and that we're standing here with an open invitation to come join our culture, to come visit with us. And and really, it's, it's just the melting pot of America. It shows how great that we can all be together. And, and the Cushada way is, is my personal favorite. It's my heritage. It's our chance to show everyone what we're all about. So I just want to welcome everybody. Anybody can come to this. Um, you really will take home a lot and uh, have a lot to talk about once yeah. it's over. We have used that word powwow in our, in our language, uh, but I think a lot of us didn't really understand what it really means. Explain what powwow really means. Powwow is much less it's a gathering. It's our nation's gathering together 
and and it's really a, a another word would be a party i guess you, know? <laughs> you get together you celebrate with food dancing this goes um all day long friday and saturday night um we have a concert the same night so we have a lot of things happening here that it's just it's a great place to come and visit and yeah. bring the whole family well thank you very much for letting us know about it thank you for letting us share our culture with you all right thank you Cachada Tribe's 26th annual powwow is happening this Friday and Saturday in Kinder, Louisiana. Gates open at 4 p.m. on Friday and 9 a.m. on Saturday. Admission is $8 per person and kids ages 6 and under get in for free. To get your tickets, visit CachadaPowwow.com or call 337-584-1545. 1545. Again, that number is 337 337- 5841545 and later in the show we'll talk to our authentic dancers and get more on the meaning of their performance